Hi guys, welcome to the channel, and uh, here we are with the surfboard. I've been printing those um, wear rings, I'm calling them, but really they're producer rings uh, for the impellers. And I've done a bit of printing, done the new impellers also, and the uh, impellers I kind of modified in on shape, and they were a little bit kind of unbalanced, the old ones. So I had a bit of vibration going on because I'd put uh, carbon fibre around and I put some uh, epoxy in the holes where I put the pins so I've redesigned these now so I've got a little slot in the front of the prop and I could drill through the bar without the prop on you know and it was hard it was actually harder than you'd reckon for to drill through that bar I'd done about 30 euros worth of uh, drill bits actually <laughs> drilling through there but now they, they're a lot cleaner they're 100% infill so they're quite solid and they should be a lot more balanced out of the straight out off the printer than my old props so the rings they're going to be going in i'll be silicon those in a bit of black silicon and it basically gives me that sort of a, a tighter prop to the to the outer diameter of the jet drive so there's a tolerance to be had with these things and mine had a probably a two millimeter gap around the whole thing and uh, that can cause problems cavitations and what have you so there's my jet nozzle that i printed uh, finally got a nice one well two got two nice ones put the flutes in there those so so i can get the spanner on there easy got the washer the washer divots they haven't got washers on at the minute because uh, i really need to make the whole drive and uh, the new bearings ceramic bearings for the rear so the uh, the front edge of this wearing goes into the nozzle now and uh, I was having a little bit of a, a leak issue inside the board and I think it was coming through the seal between the seal and the wearing there so uh, it was forcing water through somehow although it's siliconed uh, I just wanted to have a little bit of a, an insert into the nozzle you know so that the water can just flow straight through less chance of it leaking through there uh, that was another issue so um, with all this printing and designing I've done I think we've kind of got to got to something going on sorry for the overdub audio here um, but uh, for some reason my camera's making a bloody racket every time okay so I've got the silicon here it is so I'm basically just gonna just squidge a load around here with my finger squeeze out which is always handy only a little bit which is good perfect amount there so I know now for the second one what we're gonna do I'm gonna go in I'm gonna put some silicon on the inside of these and uh, I'll do the second one off camera and I'll be clearing up cleaning up with white spirit okay and uh, I'll be back once I'm done with the silicon and the clear up I'll show you the final result with the nozzles and the impellers in, in there. All right. Silicon round. I've cleaned up with some white spirit. That makes the silicon also go very nice and sort of smooth. A little bit of paper towel, some hair cleaner, bud, hair bud cleaner things round everywhere. Now, I'll just slip these in for a quick bit of fun. Okay, that's kind of in. That's better. But is it for some reason the shaft was slightly bigger on the other one so I had to kind of sand it down a little bit in the drill with some fine paper you can hear a little bit of scrubbing but once the nozzle's on they kind of seat where they're supposed to be it's just a lot tighter which even if it does scrape it'll wear in I guess more I hope <laughs> wear in. okay nozzle goes on I'm just going to seat these in so they're actually actually in where they're kind of going to be you know those nozzles can hold those wearings a little bit straight, you know, where they're actually gonna be finally. It's the plan, I mean, you know. I'll put the other one on quick. Okay, I'm not gonna push it too far, you know, too, too far back here. But that's them with the nozzles on. Ooh, all right, waysiders, hey? We're doing all right, lovely. So, I've got them on. I'll let that silicon go off now. 24 hours or so and uh, I'll put the nuts round 
and uh, the next video guys i'll be back down a river testing this out with ease and then i found a guy lives in france near me who is a model boat guy and he's got some uh, escs that i'm gonna pick up they're quite expensive but i should have bought those in the first place so really it's the same I would have had to buy the the, uh, the flyer or, or the flip sky or so. He's got some uh, Z, ZTW G2s, 300 amp. So I'm gonna go and buy those and uh, it's gonna break the bank a little bit, but I'll try it first with these. I'm gonna do one thing at a time, I think. I'll, I'll just see how much better these are, having the propeller tight, the impeller tighter to the inside and uh, the water flow and everything. And if I'm still getting that sort of electrical timing, kind of feels like a timing issue uh, on off very fast, then I'll, uh, I'm going to go and buy those other ESCs. Anyway, get rid of those cheap China ones out of there, eh? Just gone. I've had nothing but grief, really, you know, with that problem. So uh, anyway, I thought in the meantime, I'll, I'll do some upgrading. I've done some videos for the channel and I need to keep doing videos for the channel. So, you know, printing videos are kind of easy to do and quicker for me to pop out some printing videos, which, you know, might not be everyone's cup of tea, but uh, I will be doing more of this kind of board stuff. Once I know it works, I'll be on it, riding it. And then, and then from there, I can do some other stuff that I want to do or, or make another one or mold this one. I've got some ideas for the future, you know, but I need the channel to work but maybe a single jet drive you know another one with a single big single uh, bigger motor that's like future future getting this one running nice going well and then up, upgrading some bits and bobs and doing a doing a maybe a mold of it and just do a full new one with carbon fiber uh, molded vacuum bagged and everything um, so you know this is the prototype, it's coming on, it's slow, I know guys, I'm sorry, but money's money and uh, you know, I've got to eat, live, as well as make this thing, which costs quite a few quid, and you'll know that if you've tried making one. So yeah, uh, thanks for your likes and subscribes guys, I appreciate every single comment, like and subscribe I get, and uh, you know, it, it really does make me feel good. That, people are interested and they're tapping that button and certainly comments i do love your comments anything you want to talk about so i'll see you on the next video guys be down that river in the water giving these a little test out all right see you later